as I explained in the last video, this table was shaking around like crazy under the thrust of just the pulse jet engine. And the potential of one of these augmenters to more than double the thrust output made us a little bit nervous about the idea of depending on this table staying where it's supposed to, just based on gravity. And we played around with the idea of tying some cables to it and trying to stabilize it by, say, fixing it to one of the trees over there. The problem is there's nothing comparable on the other side with the building that would let us get a good V-shaped support. We thought about putting something in the driveway, but we didn't want to drill into the pavement a permanent installation for something that's a temporary test. Then Alex came up with a great idea. So we're going to proceed and we're going to run the tests again. I'm going to do a baseline test just to get going. Then we're going to put the augmenter on here. We're going to get this thing stabilized and then we're going to run it a second time and show you just what this thing can do to a pulse jet engine. All right, headphones. Got your headphones? Yep. All right. Cameras and mics are all good. All right. I'm going to turn the fuel off valve to on. Then here goes the fan. Here goes the spark. And here goes the fuel. Three, two, one. turned off the fuel and this does happen sometimes that's one of the reasons why you want to have the fan because if you do get a flooding of the engine you don't want that to build up any more than it did and you get more than just a little fireball coming out of the end of the thing but we're gonna let this cool down a little bit you did see the effect of the thrust and now what we're gonna see is if we can get any kind of more power from this if we add the augmenter Yeah. You guys are doing a video. Yeah, it was about a week ago or so. Yeah. Cool. That's cool, man. What is it, a pulse jet? It's called a pulse jet. Pulse jet. Yep. Cool. You ready to start trying yep. to load this? Yep. Yeah, okay. everything's still going. All right. So let's start with putting yeah, this one on. Yeah, just have me do the accessories and be careful not to. Yeah, just yeah. keep this as if it's red hot because yeah, it's yeah. close. Well, yeah, it feels like <laughs> cook an egg on it. All right, the augmenter's in place, so we're gonna go ahead and fire this thing up again, and I'll try to run the same sort of scenario. See if we get another flame ball. <laughs> sure, but now, uh, it's my turn. Now, we need to stabilize it. Okay. And yes, this was my idea, so that's why I'm having to pull it. <laughs> You're doing so well, but do you want help? No. Nah. <laughs> 
No, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm all good. <clears throat> you sure? So far, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, you just have to move it about. I know, I know. I, I know. Just, you gotta give me a minute. <laughs> oh. I'm glad we got the light boat. If you want, I can hold it, you can chalk it. Sure, yeah. Okay. If you want to deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> so we have these little uh, wheel chocks that you'd normally use to lift the car up, that you would pull your car up here so you get a, a foot or two of elevation so you could do oil changes or something, that's what I use these for, but now we're using it to hold the boat back. Uh, you want to go the other way. Well, no, because then it'll go up the ramp. It won't go up the ramp, but otherwise it's just going to push them out in front. Why wouldn't it go up the ramp? Because it would have to elevate the whole boat. Well, yeah, but if it's being pulled, that's the whole point of these things is to go up the ramp. Okay, I'll do it your way. It's, it's, your, it's your project. I'm closest. You want me to do the other side? Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Feel Whenever you're ready. On. Yeah. All right. Headphones. Headphones. All right. All right. I never, fan. I never like Fan. Those. Spark. Fuel. Spark and fuel. I, I know I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Despite all the theories and all the papers that I read, this isn't working. Now there may be some advantage to fine adjusting the spacing between the augmenter and the pulse jet, and the papers do seem to indicate that you can peak the performance. But none of them seem to indicate that you would get a loss in performance with any position of the jet and the augmenter. So I have a suspicion that there may be very special circumstances where these things can be useful, but I think considering their bulk and the additional weight, I think if you want more power, just build a bigger motor. Or, like we're going to do, move on. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to be 
filming the pulsed detonation engine, the explosion based engine. And we'll also try it with an augmenter, a few different applications of nozzles and augmenters to see what we can do with that. But we'll see how much louder that can get and see if we can get some serious output from the pulse detonation engine. So I want to thank you very much for watching. This is a short video, but just a recap on what we did last week. So if you're interested in more details about all of this setup, please take a look at the previous video. And in any case, I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and have fun and we'll see you soon.